KT Corporation Hangul, KT Jusaisa, formerly Korea Telecom, is South Korea's largest telephone company. The formerly state-owned firm is South Korea's first telephone company and as such it dominates the local landline and broadband internet market, serving about 90% of the country's fixed-line subscribers and 45% of high-speed internet users. After selling its wireless affiliate Korea Mobile Telecom in 1994, KT returned to the wireless market with the creation of PC's carrier KTF in January 1997. The company's 2009 merger with KTF, its wireless subsidiary, made it the country's ninth largest chable conglomerate with nearly 24 trillion won $20 billion in assets. In January 2011, KT launched unified brand Ola for both fixed line and cellular broadband services. In late 2015, former KT president Suk J. Lee was charged of breach of trust and embezzlement, allegations which he denies. Topic: <laughs> Company overview. Founded in 1981 as a public utility, KT actively led Korea's transition to the information era and played a key role in transforming Korea into a major information technology hub. As a state-owned firm, KT had the clout to influence changes to itself and Korean telecommunications industry as a whole, selling its wireless affiliate in 1994, founding another in 1996 and becoming, along with DACOM, one of Korea's earliest ISPs. In 2001 KT acquired struggling broadband provider Thrunit, then the largest broadband company in Korea, which paved the way for KT to dominate the broadband market. In 2009, KT merged with its wireless subsidiary KTF, paving the way to the integration of landline and cellular services. Ever since KT introduced the Apple iPhone to South Korea, it has been constantly seeking new business area, such as media, e-commerce, and global business partnerships. The company has a well-distributed shareholder structure under which the National Pension Service NPS is the largest shareholder 6.81% as of December 31, 2012, but NPS holds no managerial rights over the company. Under the current shareholder structure, no controlling shareholder exists. History and milestones Topic before privatization September 28, 1885, telephone facilities set up between the cities Seoul and Incheon 1981, company incorporated on December 10 as KTA 1984, tenth in the world to develop the electronic switch TDX1 1987, nationwide automated long distance network completed 1991, company renamed Korea Telecom 1993, total of approximately 20 million million telephone lines installed only 4.5 million existed in 1982, laying groundwork for the Emerging Information Society 1995, Mugungwa Satellite No. 1 launched 1996, Mugungwa Satellite No. 2 launched 1996, PCs and CT2 license acquired. KT Freetail wireless carrier founded. 1997, status changed from organization which has 50% plus state funding to one with a state funding of smaller scale below 50% October 1, 1997, the new public corporation business structure improvement and privatization act applied to KT no longer exempted owing to the change in company status 1998, headquarters relocated from Jongno-gu, Seoul, to Bundang-gu, Jongji Province December 19 1998, newly listed on Stock Exchange 1999, Mugungwa Satellite No. 3 launched June 2000, managerial rights of Hansel M. Com acquired December 2000, IMT 2000 license acquired April 2001, Caller ID CID service launched After privatization 
May 2001, plans for privatization announced. Celebrated 20th anniversary and changed name from Korea Telecom to KT. KT's telephone exchanges restructured into regional branch offices. Let's launched as the new company slogan. 2002 – Privatization of company finalized 2005 – According to Fair Trade Commission data, KT as a corporate group that holds 12 subsidiaries and total assets of 29.315 trillion won, ranked 8th among Korea's conglomerates. December 28, 2005, launched Inter-Korean Telecommunication Services and opened KT branch office in North Korea's Gaesung Industrial Complex January 2009, six days after inauguration as the new chairman of KT, Suk Chai Lee announced plans for KT-KTF merger at press conference March 2009, received conditional approval from Korea Communications Commission KCC on KT-KTF merger April 2009, debut of Kook, a service bundle brand. An landline phone, Megapass broadband and Mega TV. IPTV services were renamed Kook Phone, Kook Internet and Kook TV, respectively. Topic. After KT-KTF merger June 1, 2009, KT and its wireless subsidiary KTF merged to form a new unified KT. July 2009, previous company slogan, All New, replaced with, Ola Management, and, Ola KT, officially launched as the new C. November 2009, launch of Kook and Show Broadband Services. Forecasted the advent of the smartphone era. November 2009, became first local carrier to launch Apple's iPhone in Korean market. December 2009, launched the first 3W Wi-Fi, Wibro, WCDMA smartphone, Show Omnia, in Korean market. June 2010, launched uCloud, a cloud-based storage service August 2010, company's Internet services relaunched under the name, Ola, in alignment with company slogan August 31, 2010, KT included as Dow Jones Sustainability World Index Company September 10, 2010, launched Apple's iPhone 4 in Korean market and unlimited 3G data plan November 11 to 12, 2010, as the official telecommunications service provider for the G20 Seoul Summit provided the heads of states with powerful IT communication services. January 25, 2011, fixed line Kook and cellular Show broadband services were unified under the Ola brand. They were renamed Ola Home and Ola Mobile respectively. February 10, 2011, acquired 20.05% 20 of BC Card shares, emerging as the second largest shareholder. January 3, 2012, KT launched its LTE service. September 2012, KT was awarded the Global Supersector Leader for Telecommunications World No. 1 Company in Terms of Sustainable Business Practices by Dow Jones Sustainability Indexes for two consecutive years. Topic Corporate Governance KT's Board of Directors BOD, consists of three non-independent directors and eight outside directors, totaling 11 directors as of March 2012. The outside directors are nominated by the Outside Director Nomination Committee based on their expertise and business leadership, and hold office for less than three years. The BOD chairman is selected from among the outside directors and serves for a one-year term. The BOD consists of five standing subcommittees and two ad hoc subcommittees. If required, additional subcommittees may be set up. 
The current internal directors are Chong Gyu Wang, Chairman and CEO, Hyun Myung Pyo and Il Young Kim, and the external directors are Ung Han Kim, Board Chairman, Chun Ho Lee, Yun Nak Lee, Byung Won Bok, Kuk Je Sung, Sang Kian Cha, Du Kian Song. Topic Services Topic Wireless As of 2012 KT customers can receive the services on any of radio frequency band assigned, one or more of radio interfaces. Topic Smartphones and tablets KT was the first operator in South Korea to introduce the iPhone, into the Korean market in November 2009. The next generation model sold 1 million units within four months of its September 2010 launch. KT launched the iPad in November 2010. Wi-Fi hotspots As of June 2015, KT owns and operates more than 140,000 Wi-Fi hotspots under the name KT Ola Wi-Fi Zones. Topic: 4G LTE KT discontinued 2G coverage in January 2012 in the Seoul area, and March 2012 in the rest of South Korea on the 1.8 GHz frequency, which will be reassigned for LTE network branded, OLA LTE. All LTE LTE coverage all over South Korea will be accomplished by June 2012. Dual band LTE on the 900 MHz will be available in Seoul by the end of 2012. Topic Giga LTE. In June 2015, KT announced it has teamed up with Samsung Electronics to combine Wi-Fi and LTE in a gigabit speed mobile service called Giga LTE. The new network is estimated to be 15 times faster than the existing LTE and four times faster than the tri-band LTEA, the fastest wireless network currently available in the Korean market. TRS KT is the only operator that provides TRS in South Korea, as it merged T on Telecom in September 2012. <laughs> Smart Home In the first half of 2011, KT launched the Keybot a robot specially developed for the education and entertainment of children, which has value-added features, such as more advanced versions of functionalities found on the existing video and Internet phones. In the second half of the year, KT plans to expand beyond voice services by actively pursuing smart home services, centering on a rich array of contents. Mobile TV KT launched the Mobile TV app, which enables customers to view live IPTV and video on demand on their smartphones and tablets. <laughs> Satellite services Operated the Koreasat fleet of satellites since 1995. Some of these satellites have been sold to Asia Broadcast Satellite while KT Corporation continues to provide some satellite services. <laughs> <laughs> Global business Bangladesh <laughs> 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 
On April 27, 2017, KT announced the launch of a Giga Island in Bangladesh, the result of multilateral partnerships with the Bangladesh government, international organizations, public institutions, and non-governmental organizations (NGOs). KT connected the Moheshkali Island to the inland areas by installing the wireless network technology Giga Microwave and used copper-based KTs providing Giga-level Internet solution Giga wires to circulate network traffic within the island. With the Giga Microwave, the island could successfully receive 500 megabits per second Internet service, and the Giga Wire enables the island's Internet speed at the most 100 megabits per second. This enabled more than 30% of the residents in Moheshkali to communicate with the world through high-speed Internet. Brunei In 2012, KT contracted with the Brunei government to establish National Data Center and its operation. Mongolia Since 1995, KT has been a major shareholder of Mongolia Telecom. KT dispatched business professionals to Mongolia and operated various training programs. In 2012, KT contracted with the Mongolian government for establishing an earthquake disaster warning system South Africa In 2012, KT and Telcom signed for a consultancy agreement for providing business improvement strategies for mobile sector and Iway Africa, Telcom's subsidiary for its VSAT business. Topic Rwanda In 2007, KT signed a contract to build a mobile WiMAX or Wibro network in Rwanda. In 2008, KT signed a deal with the Rwandan government to build the backbone its new telecommunication network. In December 2012, KT conducted a national information security project in Rwanda with Korea Internet and Security Agency KISA. In March 2013, KT signed a contract with the Rwandan government to establish the joint venture to build a nationwide mobile LTE network. Topic. Poland On March 21, 2013 KT, Daewoo International Corporation, and the Korea Trade Investment Promotion Agency signed an $18 million contract to establish high-speed Internet network in Podlaski, Poland. On October 3, 2013, the KT Consortium signed a public-private partnership PPP with the Mazowiecki Province for a $130 million broadband project. USA On June 14, 2017, KT announced that it had signed an MO with the City of Boston to participate in the Boston Digital Equity Project, a policy that aims to create a better Internet environment across the city center. Under the agreement, KT will provide its Giga Wire technology, a service that offers speeds of up to 1 gigabit per second using copper wire instead of optical cables, leveraging G.HN technology. Uzbekistan In 2007, KT acquired 54.5% of East Telecom, Uzbekistan's second-largest fixed-line operator, and 60% of the shares of the WiMAX operator, Super IMAX. KT sports teams Busan KT Sonic Boom, KT Wiz Baseball Team, KT Rollster StarCraft II and League of Legends Professional Gaming Teams, KT Shooting Team Korean National Shooting Team, KT Hockey Team, 
KT Golf Team Main sponsor of Korea's national football team Topic Smart Grid Investment KT is currently involved in the Jeju Smart Place test bed project led by Korea's Ministry of Trade, Industry and Energy, which is being pursued for the purpose of testing and developing smart grid business models. The project is being conducted on 6,000 households in Jeju Island's Gujwa EUP area, and is scheduled to be conducted over a period of 42 months from May 2009 to May 2013. The aim of the project is to provide an integrated energy management service and achieve the means for efficient energy usage by adopting renewable energy sources and energy storage devices. The project is being executed by the KT Consortium, which is composed of KT and 14 other companies, including Samsung SDI, Hyosung, Samsung Electronics, and four contractors, with the focus being to conduct demonstration tests on electric power communication convergence business models. <laughs> 